One of the great things about learning about history is that you can learn about history and try to use the past to influence your decisions. You can learn from great minds. And in this video, we're gonna look at this book called Epic Computer Science Minds, Lessons from Legendary Computer Scientists. So it's a book that basically gives you an overview of some of the most famous computer science scientists in the world and talks about the qualities that made them successful, the characteristics, the traits that they had that made them legendary. And then it teaches you how to apply those traits to your life. So you can actually learn from them and improve your life in some way. So this is a history book disguised as a self-help book in some sense, because it will give you actionable takeaways that you can apply to your daily life. It's part of a series I created called Thinkers and Innovators of the World. Let's take a, a quick look at this. Epic Computer Science Minds, Lessons from Legendary Computer Scientists. And here are the computer scientists that I discussed uh, in this book. Alan Turing, I feel like uh, he has to belong in the book. Ada Lovelace, John von Neumann, Grace Harper, Claude Shannon, Donald Knuth. The man is a living legend. Tim Berners-Lee, Linus Torvalds, Margaret Hamilton, Dennis Ritchie. He has that great book, The C Programming Language. Alan Kay, Barbara Liskov, Vint Cerf, Guido von Rossum, and Edgar Distra. Algorithms and Elegance. So again, it's a book that is meant to get you to take action. Let's read the preface. This book is dedicated to helping you unlock the qualities that made history's greatest computer scientists extraordinary. Innovation, problem solving, perseverance, and vision and apply them to your own life. Epic Computer Science Minds isn't about admiring brilliance from afar. Right? It's not just a history book. It's about using these timeless traits to creatively, to think creatively, act decisively, and solve challenges. And yes, this is inspired by my other book, Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. This book provides practical tools to help you grow and succeed. Yeah, it's an action-based book. The whole point is to get you to act. Let's, let's pick a computer scientist here. Let's go to, oh, let's go to Dennis Ritchie, 89, 89, page 89 here. Learn about Dennis. C and Unix, the father of modern programming. Dennis Ritchie, born on September 9th, 1941 in Bronxville, New York, was a computer scientist whose work laid the foundation for much of modern programming. As the creator of the C programming language and the co-creator of the Unix operating system, Richie's contributions have had a profound and lasting impact on software development, operating systems, and the technology we use every single day, even, even the phone I'm using to record this video. It, it, is, it is so impactful. I don't think people realize how important these people are. Uh, it's just incredible. Richie's work on C and Unix revolutionized the way software was written and systems were designed. C became one of the most widely used programming languages in history and Unix introduced a modular, portable, and efficient approach to operating systems. Together, these innovations have influenced countless technologies, from modern operating systems like Linux and Mac OS, to programming languages like Python and Java. Richie's story reminds us that simplicity, elegance, and practicality are powerful principles in design and innovation. His contributions continue to shape the digital world we live in today. It talks about the creation of C, some more, some more history, the Unix operating system, and then here's where, where the book takes a shift and what makes it different from, again, just going to like Wikipedia. Because you can go to Wikipedia and you can read about these people for free and you can learn, right? But this, this takes it a step further. Here it talks about why Richie's mindset matters to you. Okay, so it gives you uh, a reason why you should care. Lessons that we can take. So focus on simplicity, build for portability, empower others. It goes into detail here prioritize efficiency, and think long-term. And then here, it, it, it gets you to take action. It gives you some actionable things. For example, simplify a process. Identify a task or system in your life or work that feels overly complicated. Look for ways to streamline or simplify. Focus on portability. Right? You know, empower others. So it gives you actionable things and then some final thoughts. And it's, it's quite a fun book, especially if you're a computer science person, if you're going into programming or computer science, it's one of those fun little books uh, that you can read more than once. You know, if you need some inspiration, some motivation, 
you can pick yourself up and re remind yourself why why are you studying computer science? You know what? Why does it matter to you? And, and this again, it just gives you something you can use because again, you can you can go on Wikipedia and read about these people, but uh, this takes it a step further and hopefully gives you some some inspiration. So yeah, just wanted to share this book. Check it out if you want. I'll leave a link in the description. Also check out my courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Take care.